guys, it's me again, Giselle. How are you guys doing today? So, um, welcome back to our part two of this nursing skill series. And today we are doing wound care. So exciting, right? Well, what can I say about wound care? Wound care is one of the hardest skills that I performed. But when I was in my clinical, when I'm looking at the wound care nurse, they are doing it so so fast so I'm saying this is one of the hardest and the longest skill that I perform in school because this 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 skill is combined with proper sterile gloving and setting up your sterile field but please don't get intimidated I hope this video will help you future nurses out there how to perform this video and tackle this skill very efficiently this video may not be perfect but I hope that um, this will give you knowledge how to perform this skill so without further ado let's go to the video College, and I'm here to perform wound care and now I'm going to change my patients um, wound, care and wound care dressing. So prior to, um, 30 minutes prior, um, before I see my patient, I look at my, my patient's chart and I look at the protocol and, and the facilities protocol and I also um, gather my necessary materials. Um, 30 minutes prior, I already gave her her pain medication. Now I'm ready to see my patient. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Giselle. I'm a nurse today and I'm here to um, do a wound care and assess your, your wound and change your dressing. So first I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm going to wear gloves. Okay, here's your kid. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Okay, so let me sure. Let me check your band. Yeah, okay. It's an easy thing, of course, yeah. All right, everything is correct. So first I'm going to um, wash your band. So let's assess that, that wound, okay? Look at the wound. I'm gonna go grab a barrier, so just in case there's drainage coming out. Um, retro bed. So I'm gonna try to remove this safely and gently. I'm gonna touch your skin right here and make sure that I'm not pulling the tape too rough. Just take it off so gently. All right, looks like everything's good. I'm gonna gently remove the the ropes. and I'm going to remove the packing gently. So um, I see that there's no um, drainage in the um, on in, on the gauze. Um, I am going to um, document that there are like remember and document that there are like four gauzes in there, and um, looks like the wound is dry. I mean moist, red, and the outside has pinkish in it, so it looks like it's um, healing pretty well. There's no yellow or narcotic or blackened tissue going on in the wound, so it looks like it's um, healing really good. So now I'm going to remove my glass. What I'm going to do is um, 
Measure the wound first. What I'm going to do is measure the depth of the wound. So what I'm going to do is put the, the, the tip of the, um, of the cotton swab at the deepest part of the, the, the wound and make sure that I'm not touching the wound so it's not going to get irritated and I'm going to place my finger right by the tip and now I'm going to... Okay, and I see it is one and a half centimeter deep. And now I'm going to measure it without touching the the wound side. The length of the wound is about one ten and a half centimeter. And measure it on the widest width. It is two and a half centimeter. I'm going to swab the, the wound site. So first, I'm going to go over to the farthest side. Without touching the wound, I'm just going to um, swab it gently right over the side. Roll it. And throw it away. And over this side. Set my daughter's tape. My mom's not able to wash her tomorrow. Now I'm ready to prepare my, my sterile field. First, I'm going to remove my gloves and wash my hands again. And, of course, done a new gloves. Because I don't need all this there, all of this, I'm just gonna dump it in my bag my and put this on the side. Now what I'm gonna do is um, do this and lift it. Pour some of the solution right over here. Correction. Correction after a lip it. I'll go over here. That way I'm not putting my hand over my sterile field. And put them, this thing right over here and close it. Now I'm going to use my ABD pad. I do not have, so if you could go ahead and stop the video, please, yeah. that'd be great. Um, <laughs> and then, stop the video. Cross. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. 
I don't have my bag. I didn't know that. Either. So do I have to start over or what? Can I have another bag for the box? Okay. 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 Slide my hand inside my gloves. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the gloves. I need remove the extra solution out. Locate. And I try not to go over my sterile field, so I'm just going to go this way. I'm going to open the glass. And then pack it inside my wound, inside the wound. Make sure to pack it gently. Now I'm going to grab two glasses. And I'm going to go put it over the wound. Now I'm going to go grab this, the ABD glass, and put it over the wound. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the tape and tape it on the side. Now I'm going to grab my pen to document it. I'm going to put my initial and today's date and time. Of course, I'm going to wash my hands. Now I'm going to put this away, take off, take off the barrier, put it in the laundry, cover her. How are you doing, Miss Lazy? Okay, here's your call light. Call me if you need me. I'm gonna, you want me to lower down your bed? You're good. All right, we're done, Miss Lazy. We're gonna go grab some burrito later, okay? All right, you're good. All right, do you have do you have any question before I go? You're comfortable? All right. So here's your call light. Everything looks okay. And then um, I'm gonna go um, clean up my my area. I'm going to document and I'm gonna go remove my my gloves. And I'll remove the privacy. And I'm I'm going to document my my. Um, the procedure that I made today and I think my skills if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it to your friends 
If you have any questions, comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the part 3 of this nursing skills video series. Bye!